It has been two months since the events of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4, where Heihachi Mishima lured out his grandson Jin Kazama and resurrected son Kazuya Mishima so that he could use their potent devil gene to gain immortality. After Heihachi arranged a meeting at their family temple, Homaru, Jin was able to overcome his own devil powers to defeat his father and grandfather before leaving, a vision of his missing mother Jun Kazama being the only thing that stopped him from taking Heihachi's life. After Jin's departure, however, Heihachi and Kazuya were attacked by an army of Jack Fours, forcing the two to briefly team up before Kazuya sacrificed his father and fled. With Heihachi presumed dead amidst the chaos of Homaru's destruction, Jin comes to in a destroyed forest, having blacked out upon the Devil Gene taking over his body at the end of the previous tournament. Knowing that he was the one who destroyed the forest, Jin returns to his home in Yakushima, but is plagued by nightmares that trigger his Devil Gene. Two months later, the world is shocked when the seemingly leaderless Mishima Zaibatsu announces another King of Iron Fist tournament. Having already suspected that the Jack Force was sent to Homaru to kill him specifically, Kazuya immediately enters the new tournament in order to face the mysterious new leader of the Mishima Zaibatsu, while also hoping to make any possible traitors pay for trying to kill him. Meanwhile, Jin continues to be bothered by his nightmares. Unsure as to how long he can keep his humanity with the devil gene gnawing at him in such a way, Jin decides to leave Yakushima and set out on a journey in the hopes of ending the devil gene. Unbeknownst to Jin and Kazuya, however, is that the organiser of the tournament is none other than Jinpachi Mishima, the father of Heiachi who was killed by his patricidal son 40 years ago. After being left to starve to death under Homaru when Heihachi first used control of the Zaibatsu from him, the destruction of the temple as a result of the Jack 4 assault freed Jinpachi from his tomb, allowing a vengeful spirit to possess the normally peaceful Jinpachi, turning him into a supernatural monster. Having quietly retaken control of the Zaibatsu following Heihachi's death, Jinpachi hosts the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5 in the hopes that someone will be able to free him from the grips of the evil spirit before it consumes him completely. Along with Kazuya and Jin, a wide array of fighters enter the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5, some entering for the first time, some returning from the previous tournament, and some making a return after more than 20 years. After facing a humiliating defeat at the hands of Kuma in the previous tournament, a reignited Paul Phoenix resolved to start over from scratch in order to build himself back up to be the best fighter in the universe. After two months of hard training, Paul feels that he is ready to enter the King of Iron Fist 5. After his restaurant business failed, Martial Law had entered the previous King of Iron Fist tournament in order to revitalise his fighting career, but failed at that too. Now penniless and working as a dishwasher in Japan, Marshall is horrified when he learns from his wife that their son Forrest has gotten into an accident while riding his best friend Paul Phoenix's motorbike, and has left them with a mountain of medical bills to pay. Needing money now more than ever, Marshall enters the upcoming King of Iron Fist tournament, desperate to make away with the top prize. After beating Jin near the end of the previous tournament, Huarang is soon caught by the Korean military and subsequently imprisoned for desertion. While sat in his jail cell, a man claiming to be the Korean ambassador gives Huarang a letter from the military and invites him to read it. Upon reading the letter, a shocked Huarang demands to be released from jail, a wish that is immediately granted. The letter is from none other than Huarang's master, Baek Du San, who had been in a coma until a year prior after being attacked by Ogre, an encounter that Huarang thought Baek died as a result of. Upon awakening in a military hospital, Baek was asked by the Korean defence minister to help train soldiers, an offer which Baek reluctantly accepted. Now, after a year of training soldiers, Baek hears of Huarang's crimes and writes a letter asking for him to return to the military. Huarang flies to Korea the next day and completes his training with his master. Now done with his military service, Huarang enters the tournament alongside Baek, determined to finish Jin Kazama once and for all. While searching for Jin in the previous tournament, Ling Zhao Yu is rescued by Yoshimitsu of the Manji clan who informs her of the bloody history of the Mishima family. Despite feeling that the family's troubles began when Heihachi threw Kazuya off a cliff as a child, Xiaoyu cries when she hears of Heihachi's death in Honmaru. 
Wanting to turn back time and end the Mishima's dark descent before it even began, Zhao Yu is soon met by a scientist who promises to build her a time machine should she come up with the funds for it. After opening her invitation to the King of Iron Fist V, Zhao Yu enters the tournament with determination, planning to use the prize money to make everything right. Panda, Zhao Yu's beloved bodyguard, notices that Zhao Yu has been depressed since the previous King of Iron Fist tournament. Trying to think of a way to make Zhao Yu happy, Panda searches high and low to find Zhao Yu's close friend Jin Kazama, but is unable to find him. One day, however, Zhao Yu comes to Panda and excitedly informs her of her plans to enter the upcoming King of Iron Fist V and asks Panda to help her again. Panda immediately agrees despite not knowing why they are entering, being determined to do anything she can for her beloved Zhao Yu. Having defeated his rival Paul Phoenix in the previous tournament, Kuma too had finally proven himself as the stronger warrior. However, Kuma's joy would soon disappear upon learning of Heihachi's death. Now lost without his beloved owner, Kuma journeyed to the Mishima Zaibatsu headquarters only to discover it in disarray with a new mysterious owner in charge. After being forced back into the mountains, Kuma enters the King of Iron Fist V in order to save the Zaibatsu and live up to Heihachi's memory. After helping Zhao Yu escape from the chaos of the previous tournament, Yoshimitsu soon found an injured Brian Fury and took him to his friend Dr. Bosconovich who offered to expand his dwindling lifespan. After a month of working on the comatose Brian, Bosconovich realises that Brian's body contains too many complex mechanisms and that he would die before he began to understand them. Bosconovich instead installs one of his patented perpetual power generators as an emergency measure, giving Brian an infinite amount of energy. Upon being woken up early and informed of the choice that was made, a gleeful Brian thanks Bosconovich by shoving him out of the way and attempting to leave. When members of the Manji clan try to stop him, Brian makes short work of them as he leaves the base behind. A few days later, Brian hears of the upcoming King of Iron Fist tournament and decides to enter, wanting to test out his perpetual power generator for himself. Yoshimitsu later returns and discovers his dead comrades and the lab in disarray. After learning of Brian's actions and plans to enter the upcoming tournament, an incensed Yoshimitsu sharpens his blade and enters the fray, planning on making Brian pay for his crimes. After losing in the previous tournament due to the shock of finding out his adopted brother Kazuya Mishima was alive, Lee Chao Lan soon heard of Heihachi's death and planned to swoop in and take over his family conglomerate in his place. Lee is too late however, unaware that Jinpachi has already quietly taken control of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Once again blaming Kazuya for getting in his way, Lee soon hears of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5 and enters, determined to finish Kazuya and take control of the Zaibatsu. After stopping himself from taking the life of Craig Marduk, who had murdered his mentor Armor King in a bar fight, King Jr. returned to the wrestling world, now fighting alongside the spirits of the two champions who had helped him grow. However, two months after his life was spared, Marduk crashes a veiled Tudo tournament while wearing a black jaguar mask, insulting the man he murdered as a means of convincing King to face him again. King hears of Marduk's disrespectful challenge and becomes incensed. Refusing to let Marduk disgrace his mentor's legacy, King vows to enter the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5 and face Marduk in a bloody rematch. Two years ago, Gunjaka gave its life in order to save the physicist Jane when Tekken 4 soldiers attacked them after the two had snuck into the Mishima Zaibatsu's heavy industries labs, with them having sought to restore Jack 2's memory into Gunjack. The next day, Jane was rescued by a G Corporation freighter and was hired as an engineer, eventually developing its successor, Jack 5. Faster, stronger and better than its predecessors, Jack 5 is entered into the King of Iron Fist tournament by the G Corporation for immediate field testing. After her failed attempt to assassinate her son Steve Fox, assassin for hire Nina Williams is left with no purpose when the syndicate that contracted her falls apart shortly afterwards. With seemingly nothing else to do, Nina decides to contact her younger sister Anna Williams for the first time in two years in the hopes of recovering more of her past. Anna, having lived a boring life following Nina's disappearance at the end of King of Iron Fist 3, agrees to meet with Nina upon hearing from her. Upon meeting, however, the two sisters immediately begin a deadly shootout, with Nina's memories of her sibling having finally returned to her, and Anna having realised what was missing in her life. 
After days of fighting, the two fail to kill each other and instead decide to settle their rivalry in the upcoming King of Einfus Tournament 5, with Anna vowing to kill Nina once and for all. After learning that he was a creation of the Mishima Zaibatsu born from a comatose Nina Williams, boxing prodigy Steve Fox vows revenge on the Mishimas and immediately enters the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5, determined to make sure the Zaibatsu never makes another monster like him. After helping Steve uncover more of his past after meeting each other in the previous tournament, Hong Kong supercop Lei Wu Long was able to dismantle the syndicate that had ordered Steve's assassination, making him famous across the world. After returning home, Lei begins investigating a case of destroyed dojos throughout China, with many of his close friends having fell victim to a vicious attack. Despite devoting himself to catching the suspect, they eventually disappear, but Lei soon hears of similar crimes taking place in Japan. After putting two and two together, Lei deduces that the suspect's next target is likely the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5 and enters in order to stop them. Normally an average high schooler in Japan, Asuka Kazuma is trained in the Kazuma fighting style by her father and tends to use her fighting ability to fix other people's problems via knockout. Asuka returns home from school one day to discover that an unknown attacker has destroyed their family dojo and hospitalised her father. After being given a tip off from Lei about the suspect entering the upcoming tournament, Asuka decides to leave home and personally enter the King of Iron Fist 5 to avenge her father and dojo. The attacker in question is Feng Wei, a Chinese Kempo fighter. Having mastered the Godfist style by the age of 20, Feng killed his master after he was scolded for fighting outside of their school. Feng then soon goes on a rampage across the world, determined to find the hidden scrolls that detail the secret of the Godfist. Upon learning that the Mishimas have them, Feng enters the tournament. The only daughter of a wealthy oil magnate from Monaco, Emily de Rochefort gained a hunger for fighting after breaking free from her captors after an attempted ransom. However, Lily's father refused to allow her to express her love for fighting, having an intense dislike for conflict. Unable to control her urges, however, Lily would secretly take part in numerous street fights across the world in their family jet, pretending to be on vacation instead. After taking a King of Iron Fist 5 invitation from a defeated Forest Law, Lily discovers that the hosts are none other than the Mishima Zaibatsu, a frequent source of trouble for her father. Having decided to get rid of the Mishima Zaibatsu and put an end to her father's business troubles, Lily decides to enter the tournament behind her father's back. After digging up a mysterious object of unknown origin in the frigid outskirts of Russia, the military special forces quickly cordon off the area and transfer the object in secrecy to a research facility for further study. One month after its discovery, an investigative report on the object leads to the military sending one of their operatives at the dig site on a clandestine mission to investigate its origins. The operative chosen is Sergei Dragunov, a soldier that is feared in battlefields across the world as the White Angel of Death. Dragunov accepts the mission with a silent nod and leaves for Japan. After failing to find her friend and mentor Eddie Gordo in the previous tournament, Christy Montiero returns home in time to see her grandfather, a legendary capoeira master and Eddie's teacher, be released from prison. However, Christy's grandfather had become very weak since she last saw him, with her no longer able to recognise him as the man she once knew. After rushing her grandfather to a hospital, Christy is told that he is terminally ill. Initially left with no hope, Christy soon hears that a cure for her grandfather's illness might be available through the technology of the Mishima Zaibatsu. A week later, Christy enters the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5, determined to not leave until she finds a cure for her beloved grandfather. Eddie, having still sought to avenge his father's murder, reunites with Christy after hearing of his master's illness. Eddie decides to also enter the King of Iron Fist 5 for his master, willing to do anything to help save his life. Carved from the wood of a 2,000 year old oak tree, Mokujin the training dummy had once came to life during the King of Iron Fist Tournament 3 as a result of Ogre's rampage across the world, but upon Jin's victory, once again fell limp. Now, Mokujin finds that it has once again returned to life, having felt the force of a powerful entity threaten the world. Mokujin enters the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5 in order to stop the entity and save the world from certain doom. Despite failing to retrieve her data on forest restoration in the previous tournament, Julia Chang continues her research into preventing her home's eventual decline, but is unable to continue without the data. 
One day, Julia receives a mysterious letter inviting her to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5. Julia accepts the invitation and joins the competition, putting both her dreams and the fate of her home on the line. Having retired from a life of crime after being defeated by Michelle Chang in the King of Iron Fist 2, the sumo fighter Gan Ryu has spent the last 20 years operating a sumo stable in Hawaii, happy with how his life had turned out despite being rejected by Michelle. Now 55 years old, Gan Ryu watches a video of matches from the King of Iron Fist 4 and sees Julia Chang competing in a match. Reminded of his first love, Michelle, Gan Ryu immediately becomes obsessed with Julia, unaware that she is Michelle's adopted daughter. Upon learning that Julia has entered the upcoming King of Iron Fist Tournament 5 in order to retrieve her reforestation data, Gan Ryu enters the tournament too so that he can recover the data and hopefully have Julia fall madly in love with him. Having faked his death while on the run from Lei Wu Long during the King of Iron Fist 2, Bruce Urban managed to reach a survival school where he hid for many years. He eventually hears about the death of Kazuya Mishima and is disheartened to hear about the death of his friend. Having been his closest ally at the time of Kazuya's tenure as the leader of the Mishima Zaibatsu, Bruce keeps his head down for 20 years. One day, however, Bruce hears that Kazuya had actually taken part in the King of Iron Fist 4. When the King of Iron Fist 5 is announced around the same time, Bruce decides to enter the tournament to investigate behind the scenes and discover the truth of what is truly going on with the Mishimas. A result of one of the many crimes committed during Kazuya's tenure as leader of the Mishima Zaibatsu, the genetically altered Kangaroo Roger has lived in peace for the last 20 years and has even started a family. Now, however, Roger has gone missing and his son Roger Jr. and wife fear that he has been abducted. Tucking himself into his mother's pouch, Roger Jr. decides to enter the upcoming King of Iron Fist 5 in order to find his father and save him from whatever trouble he has found himself in. Having been a seasoned fighter many years ago, Wang Jin Rei retired upon failing to end the Mishima bloodline after being asked to by his long deceased friend Jinpachi Mishima. Now, 30 years after he had first heard of Jinpachi's death, Wang receives an invitation to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5 from Jinpachi himself, who asks for his old friend's help and to come see him. Wang is confused by the invitation, unsure if his friend is truly alive or not. Regardless, Wang decides to enter the tournament for the first time in 20 years, determined to find out the truth behind his old friend's fate. A member of an international spy agency, Raven bore witness to the attack on Homaru that claimed Heihachi Mishima's life and gave the report that spread across the world. However, Raven soon hears about the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5 being announced by the unknown leader of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Intrigued as to what the Zaibatsu is up to now, Raven silently infiltrates the tournament to find out more. With the competitors gathered, the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5 officially kicks off as many fighters clash across the competition. As Paul Phoenix makes his way through the tournament, he once again crosses paths with Kuma, who tries to convince Paul to leave the tournament, feeling that something is wrong about it. Paul ignores Kuma's warnings, however, determined to prove that he's the strongest in the universe. The two then fight, with Paul narrowly managing to defeat Kuma. As Paul celebrates, Kuma desperately tries to get him to save the Mishima Zaibatsu, but eventually gives up, considering Paul to be too stupid to help save the company in his stead. King crosses paths with Julia Chang, who tries to convince King to stop his desire for revenge against Marduk, telling him that it's pointless for the two to fight, as King has already proven to be strong enough. King, however, refuses to listen to Julia, forcing her to fight him in order to eliminate him from the tournament and prevent him and Marduk from clashing. The two face each other in battle, but King is able to defeat Julia and proceed in the tournament. King then tells Marduk to wait for him as he is next on his list. King and Marduk finally meet in the tournament, where Marduk claims to have finally changed his ways and will defeat King in complete fairness. The two rivals then clash, with King being the victor. The defeated Marduk finally acknowledges that King is the winner, but to his surprise, King offers his hand to him. Marduk decides to accept King's friendly gesture, and the two decide to form a friendship, putting their grievances aside and ending their rivalry. Nina and Anna Williams meet in the tournament, where Anna promises to kill her sister. The two then fight, with Nina being the winner. 
A defeated Anna tells Nina to finish her off, but Nina refuses, telling her sister that she wasn't satisfied at all by their fight, calling her pathetic. Nina laughs as she walks away, leaving Anna frustrated as she has a tantrum at once again losing to her sister. Yoshimitsu finally manages to track down Brian Fury, vowing to kill him for his betrayal and murder of his clansmen. The two clash in battle, with Yoshimitsu being the victor. As Brian struggles to his feet, Yoshimitsu commands Brian to kneel and accept his death. As Yoshimitsu swings his blade however, Brian manages to dodge the attack and flees, with Yoshimitsu soon giving chase. Kazuya Mishima is met in the middle of the tournament by Raven, who greets Kazuya as the coward who ran away from Honmaru. Kazuya is immediately suspicious of Raven, unsure as to how he knows of what went on there. Kazuya then challenges Raven to a fight, determined to beat the information out of him if necessary. The two clash in battle, and Kazuya is the winner. As a defeated Raven squirms on the floor, Kazuya pins him down and demands he start talking. Raven reveals that it was in fact G Corporation that had sent the Jack Force to Honmaru in order to kill Kazuya. Having already figured out that G Corporation was the one behind the attack, Kazuya demands to know more info, but instead, Raven only asks him if he knew what was under Honmaru. Realising that Jinpachi had been imprisoned underneath the temple by Heihachi and is now the one running the tournament, Kazuya curses his father. Kazuya promptly leaves the tournament, no longer interested in it, and instead determined to kill those at G Corp who'd attempted to kill him. On his way out of the tournament, Kazuya runs into Bruce Irvin, with the two friends meeting for the first time in 20 years. Bruce issues a friendly challenge to Kazuya, pointing out that he is a normal competitor this time, just like him. The two then fight, with Kazuya gaining the victory. Satisfied that his old boss hasn't changed, Bruce decides to also abandon the tournament and once again join up with Kazuya, willing to help his friend take down G Corporation. Huarang and Jin Kazama finally meet in the tournament, ready to face each other at last. Jin, however, finds himself distracted by his quest to destroy the Devil Gene, but decides to face Huarang first. The two rivals then clash, with Huarang managing to defeat the distracted Jin again. Huarang gloats over being much stronger than Jin now, but Jin instead tries to leave, not interested in fueling their feud any longer. Huarang is surprised at Jin giving up so easily and asks him if he's not ashamed at losing. Jin instead tells Huarang that he doesn't have the time to be swayed by emotions and goes to leave, as a frustrated Huarang voices his displeasure at Jin's lack of interest. Suddenly, however, Jin lets out a demonic roar, the devil Jin managing to fully consume him in that moment. Before a confused Huarang can do anything, he is beaten to within an inch of his life by devil Jin and is left unconscious. Devil Jin then flees but eventually comes to and returns to his normal state. With Huarang unable to compete in the tournament, Jin is able to take his spot and progresses onwards, eventually making his way to the grand finals. After arriving at the scheduled location for the finals of the tournament, Jin is met by a demonic Jinpachi Mishima who does not know his great grandson. Upon learning of his cursed bloodline, Jinpachi understands why his blood screams to destroy Jin, who vows to defeat Jinpachi's evil presence once and for all. Jinpachi laughs at the idea of Jin being able to fight him, let alone defeat him, and takes him on in the finals of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5. Despite his immense strength brought on by the evil spirit attached to him, Jin is able to defeat Jinpachi, ending his great-grandfather's suffering. As Jinpachi crumbles into dust, Jin is left alone in the empty wasteland, having managed to win the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5. With the tournament concluded, the participants involved return to their normal lives and prepare for what's next. Ganryu waits to meet with Julia Chang after managing to retrieve her missing forest rejuvenation data while competing in the tournament. Planning to confess his love to Julia at the same time, Ganryu gives Julia the data which she is extremely grateful for. Ganryu then presents a ring to Julia as he finally reveals his love for her. However, he looks up to see that Julia has already left, leaving the stunned Ganryu alone at the docks. Julia returns to her fellow researchers with the data and builds a lab in Arizona to complete her research, but the climate of the Arizona desert results in her work ending in failure. As she sleeps at her desk, 
Julia dreams of a lush and vibrant forest full of life. Upon waking up, she notices that one of her seedlings has begun to sprout, meaning that her research was in fact a success and that her hopes of reforestation are still within reach. Roger Jr. finally manages to locate the whereabouts of his father, having tracked him down to a disused laboratory once belonging to Dr. Bosconovich. As Roger Jr. searches the decrepit hallways, he sees a picture of him and his father and soon finds the room he is hidden in. After kicking the door down, Roger Jr. is shocked to see that his father has actually been living a life of luxury away from his family. Roger Sr. is speechless upon noticing his livid son, who swiftly uppercuts his father through the roof of the laboratory in anger for having made him and his mother worry for nothing. After managing to find it, Steve destroys the Mishima laboratory that he was born and experimented in. After noticing a project in a tank, Steve punches the glass until it shatters, spilling the project and the liquid contents of the jar all over the lab. Steve then sets the lab on fire, burning it to shreds and wrecking the entire building, satisfied at having destroyed the beginning of his troubled existence. At the Mishima throne room, the Tekken Force and Zaibatsu personnel gather and salute as Jin Kazama takes a spot on the throne, the entire Mishima Zaibatsu now under his control. Your return, warrior.